Hi, my name is Ashley Marco. I'm a sophomore from Waverly High School. And this is an ode to anyone and everyone who has ever told me I'm not fat. Honestly, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I know you think being fat is a bad thing, and that's why you're assuring me wholeheartedly that I'm not, but I don't need your pity. My body is beautiful, and it's fat. My double chin is the sea that Aphrodite was born from. The fat on my neck is a reminder that the goddess of love and beauty herself was 300 pounds, stout and plump and heavy and fat. My thighs are fine, like the hairs that dust them, like wine, like art that graces museum walls. My jiggly legs are the soft mattress you fall into at the end of the day. My stomach is euphoria. It's the feeling you get when you climb something that has signs explicitly instructing you not to climb it, and the giddiness you get when you dance in the fountain at the park. And the fact that you think my fat makes me ugly gets me hot under the collar. My blood is boiling. I'm fit to be tied in every other stupid idiom you can think of to demonstrate fury. But it isn't your fault you've been conditioned to think this way. You've been living in a society that not only glorifies thinness, but celebrates it, and I'm not invited to the party. Your media has been feeding you this idea that the lower the number is on your scale, the higher your worth is. It's been telling you that the epitome of magnificence is a thigh gap. Your magazine covers are plastered with lose 30 pounds in two months and drop a dress size the easy way. Your minds have been shaped since your toddler days to see fat as disgusting, something to be rid of, something you must weight watch away, eat your lean cuisine, go to jazzercise and Zumba to dance off the extra pound. Liquid diet and power walk off all the calories, listen to every piece of ad advice Jenny Craig has to feed you anything to achieve thinness because how else are you supposed to look like the dolls you played with in elementary school? or the girls in the magazines you read religiously in junior high, or the mannequins in the stores you shop in today? How else are you supposed to live up to the impossible standards you've been given your entire life? Our culture teaches us that fat and ugly are synonymous, but not one of our bodies is ugly. Our bodies are the ballad of trains on tracks. The scent of gunpowder in the air, crushed velvet between fingertips, lips puckering from two sour lemonades. Our bodies are ocean currents, tossing ships around like hacky sacks. Our bodies are steadfast mountains, heels of suede boots click clacking on tile floors. Our bodies are lanterns, lighting the dark. Our bodies are poems, settling into their microphones. Our bodies are poetry, settling. Keep it going for the poem.